Hi guys, a really warm welcome back to my channel. Today's video is highly requested and I'm really, really excited to bring this one to you because I hope that it will be really informative, really helpful and give you a really good insight into my investment. So if you know my channel, you will know that I have been making money saving videos, budgeting videos, how to live your best life on a budget videos for the past couple of years since I started my no buy year in 2019 with the end goal of buying our house. So once I started that, a whole new world, a whole new world <laughs> seemed to open up to me and oh my gosh, I wish I'd known about it sooner. So this video is for anyone that is looking for advice on investing, how to invest, why you should invest, what you should invest in, and what I invested in and how much money I've made. So I really, really hope that you enjoy it, guys. Do subscribe if you're new around here. I would love to have you here in this audience and this amazing community who are all so encouraging for one another. So this video is actually really special because it's in a kind of a collaborative way with someone that I've been watching over the last few months who his channel is so good and he is relatively new to YouTube and I got in touch with him and I just said look I absolutely adore your content and it's so informative and you've helped me so much how would you feel about doing a collaborative video with me to help my audience when it comes to investing because as you know I say I'm not a financial advisor this is just how I have helped us save so much money and how I would recommend I do it. This guy is called Damien, he has a channel called Damien Talks Money and you have to go and check it out guys. He has got so many informative videos, he studied finance at university, he's worked within the finance industry for the last 10 years, he's done investments, he's done debt, he's done in insolvency and he specializes in tax as well so he is so well equipped to tell you guys all about how to invest so I want to pass over to him now because I think that you're going to get a much clearer picture and a much more concise and professional opinion of this please please go over to his channel after this check out his other videos subscribe to his channel I cannot recommend him enough he has a smaller channel but so much on there I really really would love it if you guys went over to his channel check out his other videos I wanted to bring my audience to him just to give him a bit of a boost help him out because honestly he's got so much to say and I really think you will love his channel so without further the chattering around from me. We're going to get over to Damien who's going to talk to you all about how to invest, why, where, everything like that. But keep on watching because at the end of this video I'm going to be talking you through how I invest <laughs> and my kind of investments and how much I've made. So don't forget to keep watching to the end and do think about subscribing to Damo's channel when you get there. Anyway, take it away Damo. <laughs> Hi I'm Damien but Lara's already told you that so let's not mess about. Today's video serves as an introduction to two key questions that I believe all beginner investors ask when they start. Why should I invest and how do I do it? These are big questions, but give me a few minutes of your time and let me show you how investing is as good for you as exercise and as easy as cooking a meal. Let's get it. When looking at how and why we should do something, it always makes sense to start with the why. Why should I invest? Why would I risk all my money? Why not just put the money into a savings account instead? And why the hell is Alec Baldwin advertising investments nowadays? Still got it. All important questions when it comes to your money. And speaking of your money, whatever the amount, I understand that money is precious. And the ultimate aim is to protect it as much as it is to grow it. So let's first of all look at some hard facts and stats and see if we can remove any skepticism towards investing and dispel the myth that it's nothing more than gambling. Whenever I speak to a beginner investor, I always think that they should start out with a long-term approach. Historical data shows that anyone who bought stocks and held them for a long period of time has typically done pretty well. The average rate of return of the global stock market for nearly 100 years has been 10% per year. I mean, that means some years it can be up 20%, other years it could be down 15%, but over the long run, it averages around 10%. To put that into perspective, if you'd invested £200 a month for 30 years, the £76,000 that you invested over that time period would be worth in the region of about half a million pounds today. It is the consistent habit of investing over a long period of time that's produced those results. 
not the skill of the investor. Just like exercise, you don't need to be Usain Bolt to feel the benefits of going for a run every day. And you don't need to be a financial wizard to benefit from investing. To hammer this point home, this study here showed how if you invested in the stock market at any point in the last 50 years and held your investments for 13 years or more, you would have been guaranteed to make money. Long-term investing on a consistent basis benefits from the trend that stocks typically go up over time. A similar investment that you could make that might be a little bit more relatable for you is property. Everyone here, there's only me here, I'm recording this in my loft. Everyone here has seen house prices go up and down at points over the last 20 years. But we can all agree that the long-term trend in our lifetimes is that properties have increased in value. And anyone who sat on a property for 20 years has probably done pretty well. And it's a similar story with stocks and shares. Another thing I see a lot from the people who follow my channel, and something that I definitely battled with when I first started investing, is the concern that you're gonna start at the wrong time. The outlook for the world economy at the minute is pretty bleak, and no one can be certain of what the stock market's gonna do in the next 12 to 24 months. So naturally, a lot of people think, I'll just wait it out. I won't invest now, I'll sit on the sidelines and just wait for things to look a bit better. This is called time in the market, and it's a really bad idea. To set your mind at ease, the Tilney Group did a study where they looked at the worst investor of all time. So this individual bought shares five times in their life, 10,000 pounds each time, and always bought at the worst possible time, right at the top of a market just before it crashed. So this guy invested 50,000 pounds in total over that time period. And even by picking the very worst dates to invest, he still has 220,000 pounds today. This isn't a zero sum game. You don't buy houses and expect the value to suddenly drop to zero. And this is the case with the world's biggest businesses. They're not just going to disappear overnight. So to summarize, why should I invest? Because if you don't, you're leaving a potential 9% return on the table. And really, what are the alternatives? Sticking the cash in a bank where you're gonna get about 1%. The irony of that is, your bank pays you a 1% interest fee on the cash that you deposit as a thank you for letting them invest that money elsewhere. So the bank takes the money that you deposit and either lends it out in the form of loans or, as you probably guessed, invests it in the stock market. Whether you know it or not, the money in your life is already being invested. Whether it's your work-based pension, the funds you pay to insurance companies, even the cash that's in your bank account. Someone is placing those funds on the market with the hope of earning extra cash. Give me one good reason why it shouldn't be you who receives that benefit. Now, ultimately, I could sit here all day and spew facts at you about why investing over the long term is a really good thing for your financial future. But none of that takes you any closer to the physical how to actually invest. So in order to explain how to invest, let's relate investing to a skill set that no one is born with, but everyone develops in some capacity. Cooking. Bear with me here. Saying how to invest is like saying how do you cook a meal? The instant response is, what meal do you want to cook? Everyone when they are born doesn't know how to cook a thing. But as we grow, we learn basic skills, we start with simple recipes, and over time, we develop into proficient home cooks who can feed us and any little mouths that rely on us. And even though we may not be Gordon Ramsay, we know the basics, enjoy the process, and are comfortable navigating around a kitchen. But the mainstream perception of investing is akin to sticking a baby in a Michelin star restaurant and asking the baby to knock up dinner. A lot of people think that the knowledge gap is too wide, the skill set is beyond them, and there's no point in even trying to learn because they're just not gonna get it. But just like there are recipes you would teach to a beginner, there are investments designed to be simple to use and understand. And it's my opinion, this should be the first step for anyone who's looking to start investing. This is Warren Buffett, and he is the most technically gifted investor of all time. He is Heston Blumenthal, Jamie Oliver, and Gordon Ramsay, all wrapped into one. And the guy has a personal fortune of about $100 billion, all made from investing, so he really knows what he's doing. He said in a recent interview that when he dies, his fortune will be transferred into index funds, because he believes it's important that his wife continues to remain invested in the stock market, but understands that she is not proficient like he is in analyzing companies and picking out the best investments. He basically wants her to be able to live out her days comfortably without needing to worry about keeping on top of the markets day to day and said that index funds are the perfect vehicle for this. But what is an index fund? So coming back to the food thing, if picking out a stock like Warren does requires the level of detail and skill that it does to make a beautiful plate of sushi, then an index fund is like walking into a world food buffet where all you have to do is show up and eat. 
Index funds are a collection of companies in one investment, giving you the ability with one purchase to buy hundreds of companies at once. Spreading your risk across many businesses and instead of betting on one business, you can bet on whole countries or even the world at once. Making it really simple to invest. Honestly, if you've got a smartphone and you know how to use mobile banking and Instagram, you can invest. I promise you, it's so easy. Remember the examples before with the people consistently investing and the guy who bought at all the wrong times, but still did well. In all of those examples, they were buying index funds. So now let's look at a physical example of how you actually buy one of these index funds. For the purposes of this example, I'm going to be using an index called the S&P 500. Now on my channel, there's a video where I break down these names and decode them for you so you can figure out what they mean. But all you need to know today is that the S&P 500 is a list of companies that's the top 500 biggest businesses in America. So by buying this one investment, you buy all 500 of the biggest businesses in America at once. Amazon, Google, Facebook, Apple, American Express, all of the biggest companies in the world, you buy them with one purchase. Buying all 500 of these businesses is as simple as downloading an app like Trading212. I really like this app because it's easy to use and it doesn't charge you fees when buying your investments. In the description below is a link. If you use that link, you'll get one free share. All you have to do is credit one pound and they'll give you a free share worth up to 200 pounds. Once you're on the app, you simply click here and they have a list of the funds they have on offer. Remember, all of these funds are just pre-made investment ready meals. You buy one fund and you get access to hundreds of companies at once. But we're going to look at the example of the S&P 500, which again is the top 500 businesses in America. Another example would be the FTSE 100, which is the top 100 businesses in the UK. You select the investment that you want to purchase, drag this slider to the value that you want to buy, and then press purchase. Easy as that. In three clicks of a button, I am now an owner of all 500 of the biggest businesses in America. So easy. And remember, you don't need to bet your whole life here. Start with a few quid and see how you go. And try to keep in the back of your mind for all your money to disappear, for you to lose everything. All 500 of America's biggest businesses would need to disappear at once. And honestly, if that was to happen, the last thing you would care about would be your investments because basically the world as we know it would be ending. At the start of the video, I said I'd show you that investing is as good for you as exercise and as easy as cooking a meal. Well, I hope today I've shown that just like exercise, all it takes is a small effort and consistency over time. And as you develop, you get better, more confident, and you'll be able to do more. But the most important thing is just getting up off the sofa and getting started. And rather than trying to just get in at the deep end and cook an investment banquet from scratch, Invest in index funds using a modern discount broker like Trading212 and let someone else do the washing up for once. Thanks for watching guys, but most of all, thanks for Lara for having me. You're an absolute star. Thank you so much, Damo. I really hope that you guys enjoyed that as much as I did. I'm still learning now. Honestly, when he puts a video up, I'm like, this is news. Let me learn about this one today. So hopefully if you are into money saving, finance, budgeting, and of course investing, then you will find some real value over on his channel. So now into my part of the video. It's gonna be quite quick because I can see that this video is going on quite a while because we just wanted to get as much information information into it as possible. So on to what I use. I use a couple of platforms to save, uh, to invest my money and I do this monthly. So throughout the month I will invest into one platform and then every month I invest a hundred pounds into another which I'll talk about afterwards. For my stocks and shares I actually use Trading212 which I will leave a link in the description bar. If you wanted to check it out you invest one pound and you will get a share up to the value of £200. I wanted to share with you my portfolio and how much it's making at the moment. So I have my Vanguard account, which I put in £100 a month as a direct debit, and that will go into a high risk fund because I'm not gonna look at that until I'm like retirement age, and hopefully by then it will be a incredible amount of money for you know, retiring on. I'm self-employed, so I need to think ahead to these things. Uh, but day to day, I use a, a couple of different platforms. As I said, I'll share the link in the description bar for you. But I wanted just to give you an idea, and it's literally going up and down, up and down like this as I'm talking. So at the moment, my portfolio, you can see here, is 1200 pounds and then the profit made is here so around 50 pounds at the moment uh, which is a four percent increase so obviously if my money was in a 
a high interest savings account, it's probably only going to be 0.5, 1% at the most. So although this is much more volatile and it can go up and it can go down, as it stands, mainly it's quite, uh, well, you can see here, it's going up and up and up and up. I don't know if you can see that. So I, for example, I'm not going to go through everything because I actually have so many different shares. Um, so as an example, I have crude oil. So when all the planes were grounded and we weren't using our cars for petrol, things like that, I invested a hundred pounds into a crude oil company and that now is making 134 pounds so i've made almost 34 pounds since making that investment however there are other other places that aren't such a good uh, picture so for example easyjet probably not a good time to buy uh, shares in easyjet that has gone down so i put 100 pounds in there and it's gone down to 80 pounds so i've lost 22 percent on that one so it's obviously something that you know is a risk total risk is like could go up it could go down for example bnm i put in during uh when we were in lockdown and you'll see here it's really easy to tell because it actually shows you uh like when this this dip here so that's over the year so this dip here is march and most shares are going to have that dip there where march came and everything bottomed out so uh, but as you can see since march excuse my nail varnish he's doing as you see since march it's going up and up and up so the return on that one is 35 percent this year so it's in fact my return is 46.9 percent that I've made on that share this year. So obviously when I bought it, it was a really, really low price and it's gone up and up and up. So for a really good kind of idea, you know, if you, if you say, for example, Cineworld, great example. Um, it's actually one of my most recent searches. So Cineworld, at the time of filming, the day before this, uh, they announced that they were gonna shut their cinemas until potentially after Christmas. As you can see, this is what the shareholders thought of that. As I said, I'm not a financial advisor. Hopefully, Damo has given you way more ammunition to go through and make your own decisions with this, but I just wanted to share my kind of portfolio with you. So you can also do little reminders on here, which will say when it gets to this amount, let me know, alert me, because I know I'm gonna make some money. So I actually wanted yesterday to know when it got to 21, because I thought if it gets that low, I'm gonna buy some shares, but it's already back up to 26.6. So it's obviously, um, you know, leveling out a bit more now that things have stabilized. So yeah, if you want any kind of more info, feel free to DM me on Instagram, Lara Joanna Jarvis, Damien's, handles are Damien Talks Money. I will leave everything in the description. Please, please go over to his channel and check it out and subscribe because he honestly deserves so many more subscribers. And if you have any other YouTubers that you really love watching and that I haven't spoken about, I'd love to give them a shout out because we're all in this together. All ships rise in high tides as I hear my lovely friend Louise say, and it's so true. So yeah, let me know and I can give them a shout out. And obviously if my video is helpful, then do please share with your friends because hopefully then they will come and watch as well. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you all very, very soon. Take care. Have I got lipstick on my teeth?